that interest in people as well, like-minded individual. And we're all playing a part. Anyway, I'm gonna do the rounds. Cheers, mate. I'll, I'll catch you up. in a little while. Yep. I Cheer did me. get your message. Sorry, it's been a busy week. Oh, okay. you did? Yes. Okay, man. Let's talk about that. Cheers. Yeah. Cool, man. So, again, if you just politely ignore it and they stop, then you can respect each other at maybe then or maybe next time or next person. If you don't, then you can't, and then you bother strangers and run away. Right? So, that's the issue. And so, if flight gays can do that, then it should be okay. There you go. See cute little kids playing on the grass. Like I said, this is more of a house party. Like I, I said in the last video, um, this is more of a house party as opposed to a, um, you know, a, an angry protest. No borders, no walls, no Canada at all. No men, no women. Hate the way you've been living. So everything sucks. I'm a mess. Put me in charge. So we're all a mess. You know, it's not that, right? It's, it's, it's a different vibe. So. That's all. How you doing? Mm -hmm. The guys can, they can still be straight up like that, like I said earlier, can 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 work as part of Canadian Fight Club because, hello, you know, because uh, the cops there chilling, the cops are you know, the guys they can still show and get respect, or the half of polite Canadians, they can still do that, even if they have to fashionably be sketchy in public and insecure and argue and lie and stuff, um, they can meet privately and think, talk, fight, and do stuff around where we live, you know, inform and empower people by winning the offline info war, right? meetings, get together, respect each other, communicate well, uh, and, and then meet and greet tables, sit there, a bunch of people getting along, getting along with other people, especially in central areas of town, uh, and then posters and flyers, DVDs and so on, you can do that, right? And otherwise, let's say I was a kid in Toronto, you just politely ignore it, look down, look at your newspaper, look away, happy they're gone like everyone else in the subway, relax, mind your business or get along and have a great day, right? So that's, uh, that's basically the idea. And so you can do that. You can chill out people where you live. And, uh, and if polite Canadians, if the half of Canadians can still be polite Canadians can do that instead of going along with you know, getting more zombie-like every day, then you can save Canada a nice place to live with nice people um, as opposed to, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, yeah. how you doing? So yeah, just like we did when I was a kid. You look down, look at your newspaper, look away. Be happy they're gone and have a nice day when they're worked up, bothering you, forcing you to put up with them for no reason. Can't help it, can't explain, you know, don't want to get involved in case they get embarrassed, lie and argue and keep bothering you. And uh, everyone else where you are, all the other polite Canadians, just relax, get along, mind your business, and have a nice day, right? Keep yourself respect for the next time you hang out or the next person you hang out with, right? How are you doing, Jack? Kevin J. Johnson here. Oh, he is? Fantastic. I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, I know you know him. He's still, he's still, he's still out. He's still out and about. Cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so let's get an idea. So again, just quietly ignore it. Otherwise, you can't look at people, you can't look at them. And uh, that becomes an issue when it comes to hello, getting along with each other, respecting each other, communicating well. Yeah, it's a GoPro. Yeah, there's a little red light on. It's flashing, recording right now, and uh, it goes for about two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. I saw those on line. I have a GoPro camera, but it's a little bit bigger than that one. Although I also have this small one that's like a pen that I could wear. Here, I just cannot yet figure out how the heck to get those things up and running. Uh, do you have a computer? Yes. Yeah, uh, work with a computer, or what I did to use this GoPro is I looked on YouTube, and there's a couple of tutorials, and you can find a tutorial for your specific camera or whatever, and, um, and you're good to go. Ah, uh, thank you. No problem, man. Yeah, here, I'll give you a couple of things. I'll give you uh, a copy of uh, the Vaccine Risk Awareness Network uh, uh, card, which is a little group with some information on that. And I'll give you a copy of the Canadian Fight Club flyer, which uh, you don't, don't talk about with people that don't want to learn more or do more. But uh, basically, it's a little plan to save Canada that'll work. And, um, and so if we can beat the globalist brainwashing, that makes us sort of want to get sympathy for being a victim instead of credit for making sure nobody is. And we won't all be victims, uncomfortable near each other, looking for attention, making it hard to pay attention to us. We'll actually get credit for making sure we're cool, everyone where we live is cool, and where we live is cool, and we'll be cool. Thank you. No problem, brother. What's your name? Lana, uh, and you misgendered me. I'm oh, actually sorry about that. I, I, I want to know. 
so I, my bad. Sorry, Lana. BK, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, anything else to add? Uh, no, that will be it. Thank you. Okay, Lana. Nice to meet you, young lady. Have a good day. We'll catch up at the party. All right, how you doing? And again, a lot less and a lot less aggro here than uh, than on the streets, uh, you know, coming up here, right? With the sort of the commie zombie stuff. Uh, that's why it's important to be informed and empowered people. As an example of one of the things I gave to uh, Ms. Lana. Um, yeah, honest mistake, you know, especially, hello, especially in Toronto, where uh, we're exposed to so many different cultures here, so many different accents. When somebody like a uh, rapper, singer, Drake, uses different things, it's like, I do the same thing, because we were raised here around all these cultures, so I can be straight up, you know, British-ish, or I can be, you know, but up, but up, but up, you know, at a hip hop party or something, um, because we have so many different cultures. But a lot of times, um, you know, curiosity uh, beats ignorance, and we got to figure it out or we got to fight, because otherwise we'll be paranoid. And so, um, so in Toronto, <clears throat> you know, it's easy to, um, uh, it's easy to kind of guess, like, oh, where are you from? You're from Trinidad? It's like, no, I'm from this. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't trying to insult you. I just, are you from Korea? Are you from, oh, no, I'm from Japan. Oh, sorry about that, right? But you can do these things as long as you don't have to get offended, right? I remember um, there was, I was at a, an event, working at a, a staffing event or something, and there was a young lady there, and she was a, she was a, you know, a young college educated girl or whatever, or just in college, and she was talking about brown girl, uh, brown East Indian background or something like that. And um, she was like, ah, oh, I was in a cab the other day and I was so offended. And uh, people were like, okay, honey, what's wrong, right? <clears throat> and she was like, ah, oh, I was in a cab. And the guy asked me, oh, where are you from? And then she goes, ah, oh, I'm from Canada. It's like, you know, that's when you're trying to be offended. You know what that 40, 50 year old Pakistani or Indian or whatever cab driver is trying to ask you. He's trying to connect based on something that you understand generally. If you're wrong, no problem. If he's not trying to insult you, you just correct him. You say, well, I'm Canadian. My parents are from India, Pakistan, Fiji, whatever, or wherever the hell they're from, right? <clears throat> but if you don't have to be a mess, you don't have to, you know, get attention for being a mess and make it hard to pay attention to you, um, then, uh, you know, people can respect each other and communicate well. If you have to be a mess, then that causes issues, right? And that's kind of what they're engineering out there with the globalist commie zombie brainwashing, right? So <clears throat> I corrected that girl. I corrected that. I, I said, to, I said, you know, honey, give me a break. You know what he was trying to ask you. You know he wasn't trying to offend you. You know he was just trying to connect with you as a 50, 60 year old cab driver with a 20 year old brown girl. He's brown, you're brown. He's just trying to guess or trying to say what's your background, right? And if he doesn't speak like a 19 year old social justice warrior student, then you shouldn't crap on him for it, right? So we've got to beat that brainwashing out of our culture. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> there you go. There's the hello, young man. Pardon me. Oh, okay. Well, go enjoy. How you doing, man? <laughs> so, afternoon, officer. Getting yourself? Cool, man. Afternoon. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, like at a good house party, people respect each other, get along, communicate well, can talk about fun or serious stuff, and here at the Great Canadian House Party can do the same thing. And otherwise, just like we did since I was a kid, just politely ignore it, uh, poor sketchy person can't help it, can't explain, don't blame, bother, or embarrass them, just politely ignore it and have a little self-respect for the next time or next person you hang out with. Right? And uh, then you're good to go. And then you don't resent them, you don't bother them, they don't resent you, they don't bother you, you don't bother each other, you don't bother other people, and you can't do much with each other. So. <clears throat> and then good to go. Guy meditating there. These folks reaching out to the cars. Right, so, that's an example. Now, in terms of reaching out to the cars and so on, right, um, you know, you can see a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of desire for people to reach out to their neighbors, right? So this is where winning the offline info war is key, right? I mentioned this in previous uh, rally videos. And because to connect with these, these folks, uh, like we did with my colleagues and I at Toronto Truth Seeker, excuse me, um, a few years ago, um, you get the meetings, meet with other uh, patriots where you live locally, become friends, right? And then uh, from there, <clears throat> you 
you've got a meet and greet table in the center of town, you're just polite patriots, you're not messed up, frustrated, you're not bothering people, they're not bothering you. The only people that look crazy are the people doing that sort of thing. But you're cool with each other, you're cool with other people, ignore people who want to ignore you, say hi to people who want to say hi to you, talk to people who want to talk to you, or just give them some info to go. Give them a little flyer, a little DVD, and, you know, just you know, either be out there, thank you, thank you, handing them out, or if they come to the table, grab something and go, or the people that want to talk and hang out, get into conversations, you can do that, right? And that's where <clears throat> proud, polite, patriotic Canadians can connect with each other and then connect with their neighbors, and they can take the sort of... Um, the sort of cars, uh, uh, you know, honking uh, their support, and they can reach out. And I know with the <clears throat> last few weeks I've been here and, and done the rally videos, there's a lot of desire for people to do that, right? There's a desire for people to reach out to their neighbors and, and do more. And, um, and excuse me, and, uh, and that desire is manifested in the people, you know, focusing on getting the attention of cars. Now here at College University on a Saturday, uh, there's gonna be some traffic, but not a hell of a lot. And, uh, and the Ontario legislature is closed, right? Um, but uh, so there's that, plus the march. We march from there, College and University, up to Spadina, <clears throat> and either back up, uh, up College, or we marched all the way around past University of Toronto, up Spadina, and then back here down University. And there's a huge desire for many patriots out there to connect with their neighbors. And if we connect well with each other, and then we connect well with them, and we help them connect better with each other, we can take all the sort of isolated, divided and conquered, root sketchy, sheepish, sideways, commie zombies, you know, in, in, in training, and we can flip them back into being proud, polite, patriotic Canadians, people want to see and be, not the root sketchy zombies, you know, to force you to put up with them, right? So, so that's a key. <clears throat> So the same uh, energy can be translated that